Yeah, I felt like a little Cabernet Franc tonight. Welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And um, we are going to be drinking a little Cabernet Franc tonight. In particular, we're drinking a Cabernet Franc from the region of Chinon, right? That is in the Loire Valley of France and really one of the better places to, um, to try to explore Cabernet Franc. France does a lot of Cabernet Franc. Uh, you know, some of my favorites, um, you know, are certainly from Chinon or Bourgogne, uh, two appellations uh, that are really, really good. But, you know, I think there, there are a bunch of Cabernet Franc wines that are uh, being produced in other places in the world, like Finger Lakes of New York, which are stunning. So make sure you explore. But today, I wanted to focus on this guy. So this is a 2018 Messanger Rouge uh, from Domaine de Palouse. So, pretty label, right? Yeah, we saw that. So, Cabernet Franc, I, th I don't know if we've done a full episode on it before, but we I, know, I remember I definitely had some, maybe during one of the conversations uh, that I put out probably about a year ago at this point. Wow. Um, it's a, what I would say, a medium-bodied wine. Uh, red, obviously. Uh, your fruits are gonna be red in nature. Think cranberry, raspberry, cherry. And these wines can be earthy. They can have some herbal notes. They can have some spicy, uh, you know, chili pepper notes. And they can also have green pepper notes. Now, the green pepper notes can turn people off, right? Because if you're, you know, if you're, if you're coming in to smell a wine, all of a sudden you smell like a raw green pepper. If you don't like that, aroma you're gonna immediately be like you know i, I just i just want to i don't want to drink this i want to drink something else this guy does not have that green pepper characteristic and i wonder if it's uh partly due to the fact that 2018 in particular in france 2019 and 2020 are all kind of warm vintages and what's happening in in the really the world of cabernet franc is that these wines are getting less green right they're getting they're they're more fruity they're easier to drink they and they're just um they're just more pleasurable right for the for the wider spectrum of people so i think you need to really pay attention especially if this continues right which i think which i suspect it's going to you know when you think about all you know what all the winemakers are doing and you know just getting better at their craft doing things in the, in the vineyard much more organically. It all adds up to a, to a great experience. But let's see what this one shows us. So I get, um, there was that so again. Damn, I gotta stop that. Very red, right? Some cherries, more cherry raspberry. I don't get a cranberry, a, I don't get the sense this is gonna be really tart. All right, so it's, it's um, but it's definitely red. There's no black fruit in here. There's a little bit of a whiff of some herbal notes. Um, maybe I, I'm gonna go with thyme, you know, thyme, oregano, something like that. Not as, uh, you know, not as bold as a mint or rosemary. Thyme, oregano, raspberry, cherry. splattered. So this has pretty good tannins. It's a little, it's a touch dry, but the finish isn't, um, is still going to a certain extent. Nice. Red fruit is definitely there. I'm getting that herbal note. There's a touch of spice kind of showing up at the end, which is kind of neat because now my tongue is tingling a little bit. Um, now it's gone. So the finish is not long at all. Yeah, it's definitely gone. Some of that latent pepper, spicy pe chili pepper might be there, not green pepper. So 
Um, let's think about this. This wine's okay, right? Um, I think don't let that take you uh, away from, you know, trying wines from Chino. Um, this one's fine. It'll drink well. It'll be nice with a burger, chili, you know, uh, barbecue of any kind, although who the hell's barbecuing in the 20 degree uh, weather with a freaking 30 mile an hour wind. Um, but, but things like that, right? Maybe you stick with the chili, do a, do a stew, pour this in and you know, you'll have a good evening. It's not a Chinon that is really rocking my world or, or uh, changing my life, because uh, some of them can. And uh, you know, I guess I get, just try, try to get out there, explore some Cabernet Franc. Don't be afraid of France. Don't be afraid of Chinon, Bourgogne, or uh, there's one other that I should put in the show notes because it's come, not coming to me right now. Of course, it's like one of the, my most favorite um, spots for Cabernet Franc in the world. Good Lord. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope to see you again soon. I hope you subscribe, like, hit the, hit the like button because it'll help us get um, a broader reach, right? And then you guys get more, uh, more value and more, more conversations going in the comments. I'll see you soon. Cheers, folks.